So electric license plate readers will allow law enforcement officers to read thousands of license plates in an amount of time when manually they would only be able to read a hundred. And so uh, it gives them access and they can not only see whether license plates and registrations are expired, but they can also have uh, complete and automatic access to JNET data, uh, which gives them information such as past criminal uh, behavior uh, and other issues uh, that they are interested in and making sure uh, that they keep not only our roadways safe, but the citizens of Pennsylvania safe. And the cameras are placed inside the vehicles. Again, it's automatic. Uh, the officer's hands are free. It automatically reads it and gives them this data in a very uh, fast and efficient manner. Not only data on expired registrations, but also stolen vehicles. They go right into the JNET database and for protection from abuse uh, orders also come up. So it gives law enforcement not only the ability to read thousands, tens of thousands of license plates when only one manual reading uh, officer could read in the hundreds, uh, but it also gives some data that will really help keep our roads safe, but also help keep all of the residents of Pennsylvania safe. The 89, our transportation bill, uh, it eliminated registration stickers. We believe those stickers should stay eliminated, and with these electric license plate readers, law enforcement will be able to do a much uh, wider uh, capture of license plates than they could in the old-fashioned way, where they physically had to look and read them. Uh, the license plate readers also allows them to read in bad weather, in dark. Uh, it allows them to read uh, license plates coming at them as well as um, uh, coming with them in, 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 in the way that uh, they're going in the same direction. So it allows them to read in all different directions, 360 degrees all the time. It's continually inputting data, so it allows them to do their, bro their job even better than they could with the stickers. So these uh, license plate readers are uh, they're called automatic license plate readers. Uh, these uh, devices capture uh, vehicle registration tags, plates, traveling uh, on vehicles in 360 degrees uh, around the vehicle. So they capture that image, they convert it uh, into letters and numbers, and then they run it in a database on the computer, which is about six million entries of expired, suspended, wanted persons, stolen vehicles, uh, convicted sexual offenders. Uh, they run all that information uh, automatic, completely automatic. Um, uh, if they get an audible alert, so if a stolen vehicle passes by them, uh, they'll get an automatic alert that says stolen vehicle. It'll tell them what side of the vehicle it's on, uh, and if it's passing them on the right or they've just passed it, they can swing around or go after it and stop the vehicle. So it's completely automatic. happens in seconds once the vehicle actually passes. What's the purpose of doing this? Uh, so license plate recognition is uh, really a force multiplier. So if you think about this, an average vehicle uh, in southeastern Pennsylvania with one of these setups scans about 3,100 tags per day. So that's, uh, if you think about an individual trying to ch literally check the status of 3,100 license plates in a typical ship, you know, it's virtually impossible that they could do something like that, uh, running them all over the computer. So with automatic license plate recognition, we, we call this uh, catching criminals that are hiding in plain sight. So you can have you know, many vehicles, hundreds of vehicles pass you in the course of a shift uh, that you would never otherwise check in your computer, whereas this equipment is constantly checking every vehicle that's going past your car.